What's up guys, welcome to my 10th Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a mask. Now what a mask is, is it allows you to hide or show any portion of your image that you like. So I got a picture of my friend passed out on the couch right here and we're going to be working with this today. And let's say I wanted only to show him and not the background at all. He's like, oh, this is a really good picture, but this couch is in the way. You got to get it out of here. So I'm going to do that for him. As of now, we learn of two main ways of doing this. The quick selection tool, which you can see. Go ahead and tried to select them. Then his head would be all right, but his hand wouldn't get all the way. And the couch kind of blends into the blue, so that would select too. So you would need to do a lot of thing and it would just be a big pain in the butt. So you might be thinking, alright, just use your background eraser tool. Alright, we can do that. So say we're racing along here, erasing the background. And we've done we've been erasing for a while, and we accidentally oh go into his body. To undo that, we would have to undo the whole thing. And just a huge pain in the butt to do. So, I got one more technique that is the best technique we've learned so far, and that is called a mask. Now, what a mask does is allow you to erase the background, but if you mess up, you can get any section if you want again. So, to do that, go ahead down here to your layers palette and highlight the layer you want to work on. Then click this little tool called Add Mask Layer. Now that we've added it, you can see this box pops up next to your image right here. This is your mask layer. Make sure that you're not around the image. A white square will pop up around it to let you know. So you want you want to be on this little white rectangle that shows that you're on the mask and you don't want to be painting on the image. So select your mask and then go over to your brushes and select just a typical paintbrush. And what this does is allow you to paint with black and white. Anytime you paint with black, it'll hide the section of the image you don't want to see. And anytime you paint with white, it'll make it appear again. So let's say we're painting with black right now, and as you can see, what it's doing is hiding the section of the image we don't want. So we would probably come over here and go along the edges and if you're doing this a real for real then you might go a lot slower. But say we were just going around the edges, taking out the background, get rid of this up here. And say we we're taking out the background and whoops, we automatically went into a shirt. Well, here's all you need to do. Go down here and instead of black, just click white. And then it allows you to fix any part of the image you accidentally went over or want to show again. And as you see, as I'm painting with white, it's allowing me to bring back that section of the image that we want to see again. And this is a way where you can get real fine detail and it's a tool that you can bring back your image layer, something you can never do with the background eraser tool. And since we're working with black and white, we can also apply grayscale gradients for special effects. So let's go to our gradient. And let's click, let's just pick any gradient and I'll show you how the layer works. Let, let me get rid of this mask just drag it and drop it down in your recycling bin and I'll get a whole new mask to show you guys how this works so again click add layer mask make sure you're on the layer mask go ahead pick a gradient and as you see whoops when we apply this gradient it also blocks out any of the image that we don't want to see using grayscale. Now this is a way where you can apply grayscale 
to your image for some special effects. Now that we've learned one of the best ways to extract part of our image, we're going to be talking next about how to use the extract filter. And if you missed anything I went over today, you can go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll have a step-by-step -step tutorial of everything we learned. Thank you.